probably sensing that he might be defeated in the second presidential debate scheduled for Monday, the 25th of February, the Jubilee presidential candidate, Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta, has withdrawn from uh, the debate. The Jubilee coalition has written to the presidential debate steering committee stating that Uhuru Kenyatta will not participate in the second presidential debate slated for Monday next week. In a letter dated 18th February, the coalition goes ahead to give reasons as to why the party is not going to participate in the debate. The party suggests that the moderators were less than neutral and were trying hard to showcase the negative side of Kenyatta. They cite the ICC issue which Linus Kaikai introduced as the elephant in the room. The letter from Jubilee further states that when Paul Muite tried to introduce another dimension in the matter when he said that Raila could not have escaped blame if his deputy William Ruto was involved, the moderator failed to pursue the angle. The party then wonders how scandals related to the Prime Minister such as Triton, Kazi Kwa Vijana and May's scandal were not introduced during the debate. The coalition then takes issue with the lack of follow-up questions on Martha Karua's declaration of commitment to family values. The statement is probably referring to Martha Karua's scandal with the father wa Muganda, in which Martha Karua was suspected to have had a sexual relationship with father wa Muganda. The letter takes issue with the moderator's failure to ask about Peter Kenneth's alleged financial improprieties at KFF and Kenya Re. The party wonders why Muite was not questioned about an alleged 20 million bribe he received from Kamlesh Patni during the Goldenberg era. Further, Olekiapi, the party believes, should have been questioned about the free primary education scandal. After all that elaboration, the letter concludes by stating that Uhuru Kenyatta will not participate in the second round of the presidential debate scheduled for Monday, the 25th of February, 2013. Okot Osewe, narrating from Stockholm.